Good afternoon, this is my Shaman Oracle reading for this new week. Today is Tuesday and today I'm reading for Leo, Virgo, Libra and Scorpio. And this reading here is for Libra. Welcome Libra. I'm using five card decks and the reading starts with the Wild Unknown Archetypes card and out for you came the stone. And the stone relates to the eternal, the anchor, and the rock. As an archetypal object, the stone holds psychic and literal weight. Its energy is one of permanence, concreteness, and reliability. The stone's ability to transform is nearly imperceptible to us as it changes ever so slowly over countless human lifespans. A single stone may see thousands and thousands of generations come and go, and therefore it contains an ancient and eternal presence. The stone is best used to anchor our wild side so no matter how far we roam, we can always find our way back. The stone connects us to the earth, helping to ground and connect us to stillness, to quietness and to peace. When this card appears in your reading, it is likely the stone is a remedy for what might ail you. Humble and easily unnoticed, the power of the stone balances the frenzy of our world. The, when the card's meaning is light, it relates to steadfast, loyal, committed and present. And when the card's meaning is dark, it relates to you might be weighed down a little bit, you might holding back. And there is some coldness. Next card is the Shamanen Oracle. Oracle. It's a German deck. I have two of them, both named Shamanen Oracle. And this one has 40 soul cards. And the card that came out for you is called Morning Blessing. Have trust and be thankful for everything and every day. First, take your first step into a new day and then realize that your most important moment today is now. So this card is symbolizing daily renewal in your creative powers and the blessings of life. We only can live one day at a time. So do not stay in the past, because past is what was yesterday. When you live for the future, then you live in the morning. Only those who live in the now truly live. That is an old shamanic wisdom. So start each day to give thanks to being allowed to experience a new day. And ask in your morning blessings for help, protection, food and leadership. Use each morning also to meditate. With regards to relationships, the card's picture looks like a corn stalk that a figure holds up. Is this a sacrifice or is this just a gift? Is there a special person in your life? And how about giving a gift to your special person? A gift must not always be of material form. Gifts can be to listen, to give you attention and to show tenderness. There is medicine aspect to the card. Thank the universe for all that you have, food and drink clothing, a roof over your head, family, friends, work and healthcare. Do you have everything you need? 
Is it the norm to have all the essentials? Or do you know someone who has not all these essentials? And then can you maybe help someone out who is not as lucky as you are? Be aware and caring and live your life in that spirit. Now we come to the Komorkin's Curious Cat's Tarot card. And out for you came Three of Swords. And it is dedicated to a cat named Sunny. Look into the cat's eyes and they will tell you that although the pain is genuine and her heart is damaged, Sunny is one to not give her deceiver the gratification of seeing her weep. Her blood drifts defiantly from her wound, feeding the lotus below and healing and strengthening her heart. When you find your trust has been betrayed, the three of swords is usually not too far behind. Whether it is a cheating partner, a co-worker who stabbed you in the back, or a friend who decided to call it quits, the energy of the three of swords is one that often leaves us feeling a stiff and sharp sting in the heart. Like the cat, you too know the painful truth and the three of swords appears as a reminder that out of this situation you also will find strength. The first sword may have created your awareness. The second sword confirmed what you already knew. And the third sword, well, that is the one you will use to cut the cord and sever the relationship. You have the power to free yourself so that the healing process can begin. There are two sides to every relationship and depending on the reading, the three of swords may indicate no matter how gentle you might have been, the other person's perception may not have been in that direction leading to an attack instead. The energy attributes when positive, they are the ability to recognize when it is time to end or leave a situation that has a toxic, uh, toxic factor to it. And when the energy attributes are negative, you might be feeling lost, unable to move beyond the pain. Now we come to the Tarot of the Divine card and out came Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords relates to an Arabic folk tale called Turandot. The Queen of Swords is a fierce and exacting force, Turandot does not forget betrayal, so her judgments, while fair and principled, seem brutal and cold. Still, she is open-minded and intelligent and can be charming and witty when she so chooses. The card is about protection, meaningful criticism, tough love, skepticism and intelligence. And Turandot or Turando, I don't know, people say it differently. So take your choice. Okay, so that was that card. And now we come to the last card, the Secret Forest. In the Secret Forest, all the card is Raven Spirit. And it is about truth. As you look up, you see a raven peering at you from a branch. It feels like he is gazing straight into your soul. He swoops down and lands on your hand. 
And amazingly, he begins to talk, telling you the deeper truths of your life. He reminds you to focus on what is important and to admonish, to make choices in life that honor your truth. Stark honesty is called for at this time in your life. In ancient Greece, it was believed that ravens carried messages from the gods and because of their acute vision, they were thought to be the bringers of truth. The soul loves the truth, so ask yourself what is your truth regarding your life. And be honest with yourself and speak from your heart. Then listen for what is sincere and honest in other people as well. Step away from those who are cagey and duplicitous. The hardest thing about living your truth is knowing exactly what that is. However, there is a place within you that always knows what is real and what isn't. Release situations and people with whom you find yourself less than honest for fear of being judged or not accepted. It can take time to discover what is true for you, but once you know, then let go of anything in your life that is not authentic. Miracles follow when you take time to be genuine. The raven is also considered to be the totem and protector of the queen of fairies. The spirit of the raven says to you, the soul loves the truth, so find your truth, speak your truth, live your truth, be fearless in your journey, follow your inner guidance, let go of what is not authentic and sincere in your life, be a shining example of truth for others. So Libra, that was your reading. I thank you very much for listening. I wish you a wonderful day. I wish you a great week. Take care and goodbye.